Welcome to part three, creating a steel stair with a landing. In part one and part two, we built the platform with the columns. So have a look at those two short videos to learn how to build that using the MetQ tool. Well, let's start by coming into the ribbon and selecting the stair utility here. And we need to turn on and off a few things here. So we got the draw 3D turned on. We got our stair width at 36. Our top landing is turned on. In our landing configuration is set to 40 inches, and that refers to the length. In the design configuration, this, this bottom number here, labeled B, is the distance between the bottom of the stair and the ground level should be set at zero. And that's going to build the stair from a true zero elevation up to the height we need. And the other thing to note is I've turned off the handrail utility. We're going to get to the handrails in the next video. But before I start drawing the stair, I'm going to simply just draw a line here representing the height of the stair. So this is going to be seven foot six. And this is going to allow me to snap to this height. And then from there, the stair will be drawn in a downwards direction. So let's go ahead and select draw and OK. And we'll snap to the top of this construction line here. And for the stair height, we want seven foot six due to the fact this is going to be a double flight stair. So we're just dividing 15 by two. And that's 12 steps that will be drawn. And then we'll just rotate it this way. So let's go ahead and erase this construction line, pan over just a little ways. Let's draw another construction line at 15 feet and go into the stair utility again. And this time we want to turn off the top landing and everything else stays the same. We'll snap to the top here. The height will also be seven foot six for this one. And we choose okay to draw the stairs. And this one's going to rotate this way. Now these stairs appear to be at the same height, but if you go into the front elevation, you'll see that it, in fact, they are drawn correctly. Let's go ahead and click on the flight of stairs here, type M for move, and we'll click on this left bottom corner here, and then move it up to the corner here of the landing. These stairs are all grouped together. So if, if we want to do any editing on them, we'll have to ungroup them. So let's ungroup this top stair here and right click and select separate groups. Next, we're going to take the stringer here and bring it down so that there's a better transition. So the way I'm going to do that is by using the solid edit command, which is here. I'm going to select face and then I'm going to select move and I'm going to move this L shaped edge here, press enter, and then specify the direction that we want to move that use the nearest snap here any a and then we'll just simply give it the direction that we need to go let's go ahead okay. to the other side of the stair and again we're going to type in the solid edit face move and then select the stringer enter and then type in n e a for near click the end point and we'll select the stair like this and we'll group it back together again. And let's go into the uh, left view here. And we're just going to move this stair over ever so slightly. It's a little bit off. Let's move it over two inches. Make sure that the ortho is turned on. F8 and type in two. Let's go back into isometric view and then erase this construction line. And we're going to go ahead and move this stair assembly over to the midpoint of the platform. So let's uh, select it, type M for move, and do an apostrophe Z to, to zoom down transparently to the last riser. And then for the base point, we're going to use the command M2P, which finds the midpoint between two points. So the first point here and the second point will be here. We will snap it to the midpoint of that beam there. So let's do an apostrophe Z again and zoom down right here and we'll click here on the midpoint one last thing we could do and i think we have time for this is just to create a 
support here for the stair. So first let's find the bottom of the landing here with the ID command. And that's going to be a six foot nine and nine sixteenths. So let's just draw a construction line down by that distance, six foot nine and nine sixteenths. Let's come up into our shapes utility and we'll select the channel here and then come down, select a size. Let's just go with this one here, C8 by 11 and a half. I've got the column and the base plate turned on. So let's reduce it to uh, eight inches and we can reduce these a little bit too, if we wanted to go ahead and choose okay. And then select the view draw command and then snap to the bottom first and then go up to the top and that's going to insert that in there. And then if you wanted to orbit to the other side, like. So you could mirror these around based on the midpoint of the landing, mirror these two as well. The next video will be our last video and we will be inputting the railing around the platform and then down the stairs. We'll see you then.